It's hard placing this phone, y'all. Just bear with me. Okay. Worst thing about winter times, it makes it look like you wear the same thing every freaking day. But you're not, obviously. Okay. I'll do a review today. Now, I might in the past have done a review on this. I don't really know that I have, but I might have. Uh, but I'm going to do another one if I have. Um, of course, since I've been dipping wintergreen for so long and I've been off YouTube for so long, doing reviews now are a little bit different because dips taste different to me now. Like, they don't taste the same because I'm so used to Copenhagen wintergreen every day for the past, like, freaking nine months. It's been Copenhagen wintergreen every day. So, freaking dips taste different. So, I'm going to do, if I have done a review on this before, I apologize. Here's another one. But, uh, I'm going to do a review. Well, probably, as you can tell by the damn title, it's Stoker Straight. Um, not a huge fan of Stokers at all. I don't like the cut. And the only thing that I truly like about Stokers is how long it lasts. Uh, but I don't like how hard and stringy it is because it just kind of hurts my, cause my gums. Yesterday, I told you on that video about this. Sorry, there's Copenhagen long cut in my mouth. I know it. There, see that tooth right there? Yeah, see, the gun you see right there, now it's all the way down here. And uh, uh, the wintergreen is really fucking with me. It's, it's tearing all this this jaw right here just to pieces. And everybody's like, hoo hoo, it's because you dip. It's cause... Well, it's also because I drink a lot of freaking caffeine, Doc Pepper, Mountain Dews, and all that good crap. So we got Mountain Dew right here. Well, Redneck doesn't drink Mountain Dew. But um, that's another reason. So. I kind of hate when people say, you know, you dip and it's screwing your teeth up. You know what? So what? You smoke and your fucking lungs get hurt and people do that all the time too. So what the fuck ever. But that's why I'm having to cut down on my wintergreen is because it's fucking destroying my mouth. <laughs> um, but we're not doing that. We're not in the, I got, I always get so off topic and I know y'all probably can't stand that, but that's just who I am. I get off topic really easily. So back to the review. Um, it's just a freaking Stoker's can. It looks like Stoker's. There's no... Uh, see, with Copenhagen, there's all these different cans. And Grizzly, there's all these different cans. Grizzly's been doing all kinds of different crap lately with their their cans and their the camo cans with the, with the like, looks like bear claws going through it. And they got the metal cans. They got all kinds of crap that they're coming out with, right? And they're really going over the, over the top with that shit. But with Stokers, you just get the same damn can every time. I mean, straight, obviously the red color, mints, blue, wintergreen's green. He doesn't really go very far on decorating his cans, which doesn't really matter because it's a dip. Now, this dip was uh, apparently two eighty nine dollars a can. I don't know. I'm in East Texas. I think I bought this right, well, right, side of a right, a little, uh, right outside of Tyler. So, it's it's two eighty nine dollars a can, wherever the hell I got it at. Okay. And, um... Uh, I, I don't I don't really care for it like I said, but I haven't done a review in forever and might as well do it today. But since the can's very basic, I'm not gonna do a can review. That's kind of dumb. Basically, I look at a review as, hey, will I ever dip this snuff or not? So right off the bat, which sorry I can't crack it. I cracked it yesterday. The smell. It's just to me. I don't know. I don't know if it's anybody else, but when I smell Stoker's straight in specific. It smells like an old feed store. Like when you go and buy feed for your cows and shit in an old feed store. If anybody's from a small town and they have a feed store. Um, that's what it freaking smells like. Maybe a track supply or whatever. Whatever you have around you. That's what it smells like to me. Now that just, that could be me tripping or whatever. It may not even smell like that to anybody else. But that's really what it smells like to me. Is is freaking. So, like I say, the, the fucking, the cut. It trips me out. Sorry for my language. I'm trying to cut down on all the cursing. But it's so long. And and what I, I do have to say what I do like about it is because it's so, um, the cut is so wide or whatever, or long, however you want to say it, you don't have to really pack it for a pinch. But, I mean, look at that. That is insane, you know what I mean? Like, good God almighty. So we're going to go ahead and pack the dang thing and show you all what it is. My joke of the day is just my green one. Um... I do have the surprise, one of the surprises coming to the channel. I'm getting the, the stealth mud jug and a new mud jug and a new roadie, but I'm not keeping the roadie or the mud jug. But, so that doesn't matter. I'm basically just getting it for the stealth. But it's a package deal, and my dad wants one, so Christmas is coming. So 
the packability is good. I mean, obviously, I think because the cut is so long and wide and basically fucking chewing tobacco, it packs pretty pretty good. So the pinchability, as you always do, you go in with them three fingers, leave them two out. But uh, the pinchability is okay. I, I I prefer not getting like that size of a dip in in Stoker's because it lasts so long. You end up dipping the can super fast. So I'm gonna condense that a little. But look at that. It's just so stringy, man. Even that's too big for Stoker's in my opinion because it balls up in your lip. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pack a fatty. If you're out there watching this, pack one with me. Hopefully you are. Cheers. Uh, now, well, like I do say, the only thing I really love about Stoker's Stoker's Mint, I hate Stoker's Wintergreen. Like there'll probably never be a review on it because I, I hate it but is how long it lasts it lasts quite some time the fa flavor it isn't the best it's uh kind of disgusting to me it doesn't really taste like straight i gave my grandpa a dip of it because he's a straight dipper and he was like uh wait what do they put in this crap you know because it tastes so different it's just a basic straight dip i mean but it has that different sweet flavor that i can't explain like it most straight dips are just like kind of tobacco -y to me in a way like uh copenhagen and grizzly and even even skull they're they're, they're tobacco -y to me but really for the first 30 45 minutes of dip in this i don't even i don't even taste tobacco it's it's a really sweet sweet taste uh and i kind of i kind of dig that obviously i dig the cheap price i don't know if it's cheap where y'all at but i dig that it's cheap um and sorry that I can't edit these because usually most of my rambling I, I end up editing out to make it okay. But y'all are stuck with the rambling, so hopefully I'll stick with the review. But uh So the pinch ability's good. The can is just a regular Stokers can. Uh the flavor, like I said, it's it's got a really sweet taste to it. It stays sweet. That's one thing I do like about it. But as y'all know, I'm not a I'm not a straight dipper. I don't like straight. Um the spit, I mean, it's sometimes, I guess with me, holy crap, the popo. With me, it kind of depends on what you're drinking or what you're, well, mainly what you're drinking. Like, if I drink a monster, I'm going to have stringy spit. If I drink water, I'm going to have regular spit. So, that kind of defines how my spit goes when I'm spitting and dipping. So, I, right now, I'm drinking a, a Mountain Dew, and it's kind of a thicker drink, so my spit sometimes is thicker and stringier. Like, it'll just string out, you know? It's so freaking annoying. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. So, today I'm I'm drinking the Mountain Dew, so it's going to be stringy. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I was looking at the cop. But, um, it's I don't know. Well, you can't really tell right now because sometimes it takes a little while when I, after dipping it. But the, the, the more you spit and the more the juices start running, the darker the spit gets. Like, right now, you can't really tell because... I mean, I'm spitting too soon and not letting juices get up in my mouth. But uh, it's it's got a really dark spit to it. Had to fart. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, now that that that's said and done, uh, basically it's an okay dip. Like I said, y'all can tell. Look at my look at my freaking lip, man. It's I mean, y'all seen how it's a small dip, and it looks like a a big size of Copenhagen, and it that's that's a good thing also because it can last you longer. And you still feel like you got a decent pinch in. And I like that. Um, that's all there is to the review. So if you were if you were here to watch it for the review, I'm going to talk about a, a few little other things. So if y'all want to stay for that, stay for it. If you don't, you don't. It doesn't mind that. Or I doesn't mind that. <laughs> doesn't mind that. That hillbilly talk. But, um... Let's cover a few things. So, the mud jugs. I'm not. I'm not gonna have my green one anymore. I'm gonna go back to my an orange one. There's uh the stealth mud jug when it came out. I went to order it and I was like, wait a second. I'll just go ahead and do the bundle package for like 40 bucks. It's the orange orange stealth orange mud uh, mud jug and the orange roadie. My dad wants a roadie. I'm gonna give it to him for Christmas. 
Give my grandpa this, this green one here. And I'm going to keep the uh, orange uh, mud jug. So I'll have an orange mud jug and an orange stealth. I want the stealth because I can keep it in my pocket. That's mainly the only freaking reason. Not because you can put your lips to it or anything like that, like a bottle, but you can put your you you can keep it in your pocket and, and it's not so bulky, you know. Like when you're carrying shit in Walmart or something like that, you don't have to carry a damn mud jug around or sit it on a shelf to look at something. You just put it in your pocket. Cause I'll tell y'all what, y'all know I've done a video on it before. I leave this some bitch everywhere. If I could stick it in my pocket, I wouldn't. When I got this jacket, sometimes I I can fit this some bitch in that pocket right there. Then I gotta fiddle with it to get it out. It's a pain in the ass. So there's that coming up for the for the uh, the video. I think I'm gonna do something a little different um, for this channel. It's gonna have to do with dip sometimes, but not always. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this out there in this video because I kind of didn't put the other stuff out there, and then a viral video was made. But I've been looking, and there's all these channels that are fucking like they're all doing these you know reviews on different things and all these things but the biggest thing with youtube is you need to do something no one else does and i'm thinking i'll review things but i'll review ordering them so say i'm gonna use it since it's a dip channel i'm gonna use outlaw for instance or up church or redneck nation when i order from them i do a review on the packaging how well the product is what the product's like, why I wanted the product, you know, how long it takes to get there, who's the best shipping, and everything like that. And I think that that's what I want to start doing. Of course, it takes money to do that, so it's going to take a little bit. But when I order this, the Stealth Mud Jugs, I'll go ahead and do a video on that, a review on the packaging, how it was shipped, how long it took, you know, was anything damaged, stuff like that. So, so people will know, you know, if, if they've never done it. They can order it. Now, it's not always going to be something from dip. It could be a fucking watch, a necklace, uh, any mainly a YouTuber's uh, channel, though, like Good Mythical Morning. I order something from them and tell y'all what it's like when it comes, how long it took, is the packaging good, shit like that, because I feel like I haven't ever seen a video about that before. I've never seen, I've seen people ordering the people that they follow, but I've never seen anybody reviewing the product. I've never seen it. I've looked it up. I haven't found it. And sometimes that would be nice to know because, you know, hell, for instance, big, big people like Roman Atwood, people are buying stuff, his product, that are knockoffs. It's not really the product. So if you do a review on it, you can let people know, hey, don't get that. Don't get this. Don't get this. Don't get that, you know. And y'all know, y'all y'all get the gist of what it is. And hopefully I can start doing that soon. Um, start commenting and let me know what y'all want. I don't, I don't know in the video if y'all can see how brown that was, but it was brown. But, uh, y'all, y'all let me know about stuff like that. But this video is getting pretty long because I freaking rant too much, like a dumbass. I really got to get on the ball with that rant shit because I'm, I, uh, I messed my videos up. So, sorry for the language once again. That big news is coming, I promise y'all. Uh, let's see, two or three more days, that big news will be on the channel. Something y'all probably been waiting for for a while. It'll be here. I can't wait. I'm super freaking excited. Super excited. I'll drop a hint. We're going old school with the channel again. Like back in the day. That's all I'm going to drop. So if you're still watching right now and you, you watch me as long as I've had my channel and went through all the quitting and all the, the bullshit, you know back when I first started this channel, there was something there. Hasn't been here in quite some time because of some incidents. And that's coming back. That's the only hint I'm going to give you. If you're a true follower of my Instagram and all that good crap, you will know that, uh, obviously you'll know what it is. Uh, but it'll be here. Um, that's about it. I think I've covered about everything. I'm going to fuck you watch this video make sure it's okay and, and I'm happy with it. Probably won't be happy with it, but I'm not making another one. Uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm glad to see y'all's feedback. I'm glad to see y'all commenting. And I'm glad to see that I've, I'm gaining subscribers, which is crazy because I didn't expect that. I don't know if it's because 80 videos or what, but I've gained some subscribers already. And hell, I only made a few uploads. So that's exciting. Uh, I really appreciate y'all's feedback. I mean, any little comment matters to me. Any little comment. I swear to God, it makes my whole day. Uh, but 
like I say, I'll see y'all later, and hopefully y'all enjoy this review. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've done a review, so if you're still here, I apologize for the review being a little eh, because, you know, it has been a while. It's been a long, long while, but I'll see y'all later. Uh, but, yeah, I'll see y'all later. I don't know what else to say. Thank y'all for uh, everything.